Hi there. Not so long ago, my wife and I, we were thinking of getting us a motorbike. But then we were thinking of how to distinguish which all keys we are having. We have keys for our cars, for our home, for the bikes we have, and now also for the motorbike. So I thought, well, let's design a keychain, something we can take the keys with. And then I run into a small problem with the slicing software I use. So I had to use a different slicer. But how that went, well, I'll show you all when I get home. This episode also contains another problem you can have. And well, it's an episode about problems. So let's go. Hi there, welcome back at this episode of the 3D Print Creator. And my name is Brian and I've parked my motorbike outside and I came inside and do the rest of this video inside at my office. Well, the thing is, I told you about, uh, I had to print this hanger. And this hanger is uh, what you can see here back on the screens. Uh, it's a, a hanger I wanted to have so I can distinguish this key from the other keys I have laying around because this is for the motorbike and some other keys are for some other uh, cars and houses and, and all that kind of things uh, uh, business cars, the, the, the private car and so on so the thing is that uh, we want to have a, a distinguished way to, uh, to know which key is which and therefore I printed this nice little motorbike but when I was designing it on 123D design, I designed it one and a half millimeter thick. And this whole episode is about what can go wrong when designing or when printing. This went wrong because I designed it in 123D design. I exported the STL file. And when I exported the STL file, I tried to open it in XYZware for Pro, the slicer software that came with my printer. When I was trying to slice the parts, as you can see, a lot of things went wrong. Uh, the front wheel of the, 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 the part was missing, it was, uh, it was rubbish. I don't know what the slicer did with it, but it, it didn't went, went well. And uh, then I tried uh, another slicer. I went with the same file to Cura to see what another slicer would do with it. And uh, there I found out that Cura was actually pretty good with it and uh, Cura could slice it the normal way without any problem and so I could create a g-code in Cura uh, I imported the g-code into my XYZ for Pro and then I was able to print this part so there was a way around and that's one of my thoughts I want to give to you if something doesn't work out with your slicer especially with the XYZ slicer which is a bit buggy, uh, then there are ways around. You can use Cura, you can use Slicer. Uh, those programs work perfectly fine with your uh, XYZ Wear for Pro software. Another problem I was having this week was uh, creating parts for my camera inside my printer. I am using at this moment the XYZ Wear uh, Da Vinci Pro printer. I think it's a great printer for, for the box. But uh, I wanted to have a camera mounted inside and because it's a closed printer uh, you need a specialized camera for that and well I've discussed this in my previous episode. But uh, I had to create some parts which were GoPro compatible and you can find a lot of these parts on Thingiverse. So I found pieces uh, I need needed to have and when I was going to print this uh, I made one print bed with several parts on it. So uh, I was thinking of uh, saving me some time to print all these parts together on one big giant print bed. And while I was doing that, uh, something went wrong. Uh, one of the pieces, and a few moments later, a second piece came loose from the print bed. And normally that wouldn't be that big of a problem, but when you are printing uh, for a few hours and one of those pieces comes loose 
it can ruin your complete print. So just to save time, you create a print bed with multiple parts on it, but then all those parts are destroyed when only one part comes loose. So you have to ask yourself if it's a good idea to create uh, yeah, multiple parts on one print bed and, and print multiple parts at the same time. Sometimes you can do better by printing them one by one. And it costs more time, but then for sure you know that when something goes wrong, only one part is destroyed. So these were my thoughts for this week's episode. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. I also would like it very much if you would subscribe to my channel, because then I know what I'm doing it for. Uh, and with a lot of subscribers, I can grant more rights on YouTube and that kind of thing. So it would be uh, very helpful if you subscribe to my channel. Um, also, uh, you can find me on Thingiverse. The link is in the description below. And I hope to see you again next Thursday with another episode of the 3D Print Creator. See you then. Bye bye.